Good morning, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday and I'm about to head into a lower body session. Um, so today's all strength weights work, um, normally with a lower rep max. So looking forward to it and I'll talk to you after. Sun is right in my eyes. Um, that was really good. That was a really hard class. Um, landmine hack squats are not fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, grab a protein shake, and get the day started. Um, both my partner and I have the day off today, so we're just gonna spend some time together. TJ Swim Bikini, which I love. It's the perfect combination of just being beautiful while still being really practical and supportive. Um, it's got underwire. And it has your small plus sizing, which for somebody with a bigger bust is amazing. Um, I normally can't wear bikinis that have a clasp at the back because um, I'm a small around the um, waist or under bust area but I'm a, the equivalent of like a, a medium or large cup size so they nailed it with um, this collection and this bikini has very quickly become my favourite I've brought a popsicle, it's very quickly melting. Um, so I'm gonna have this and I'm going to read my book. I just got back from the beach. I am so sandy. I swear there was no wind at all when I first got there and then it just picked up and I got sand everywhere. So. I cut my beach trip a little bit short because it just got to that point where it was so uncomfortable and there was sand all over the towel and I was trying to read my book and the sand was all over my book. It wasn't fun. Anyway, I'm going to make myself some lunch. It's now 12 o'clock. I'm going to make myself a chicken brie and cranberry sandwich. so much chicken in this thing.
Good morning. It's Tuesday this morning and it's 10 to 6. I'm just about to go into my gym class. Um, cardio today, so it should be fun. <laughs> Hello, it's now 7 o'clock. I just finished up at the gym and now I'm going to go home and get ready for a run. And then I made the mistake of picking up an extra shift at work today, so I've got to head in there and start at 11. Fun times. Hello. I've just had a shower and freshened up a bit. I have to leave for work in about an hour, so... Made myself some breakfast, I'm having a berry smoothie. Um, and I'm just going to sit and read for a little bit before it's time to go. I've got my, um, well, I haven't put my top on yet, but I got my fig scrubs on on my bottom half. And I'll put my scrub top on just before I go. I don't want to spill my smoothie on it. And then I'll be at work only for eight hours today. Um, I normally do 12 hour shifts, so it seems quite short in comparison. So just 11 to 7.30 tonight. And then I'll come home and have some dinner. Um, as per usual, I won't be filming anything while I'm at work um, for many different reasons. Good morning. It is Wednesday today. I'm just about to head into a gym class. It's now 10 minutes to six and I'm just having my oxy shred. I'll see you guys after. I've just come to the beach with my partner. He has just jumped in the ocean and is going to go for a surf. And I am just hanging out. I'm going to read my book and maybe go for a little swim. It's such a nice day today. Um, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it is like 23, 24 degrees. Summer is definitely coming, which I'm very excited about. I'm definitely a hot weather girly. I'm not a big fan of the cold, hence why I moved to the Gold Coast. I have um, lathered on some sunscreen this morning. Um, it's definitely getting hotter and I've got to be a little more careful. And I just got a bucket hat which you're currently sitting on. Um, that I just picked up from the markets the other day, so I'm excited to wear that. I'm a big fan of bucket hats for the beach, um, just because there's so much direct sun. I like for my ears to be protected as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give that a go.
hello. Um, I have just spent the last hour or so just organising the house a bit, doing some washing, prepping some chicken for the week, and now I'm cooking myself some lunch. I'm going to have some bacon and eggs on toast, and then I'm going to go for a walk. I've also got some strawberries here to go with lunch. have my vitamins at the same time as I have this meal just because I've been having my smoothie for breakfast most days lately and there's just something about having a smoothie like a liquid breakfast and vitamins that I just I don't know my mind doesn't like for some reason Alrighty. I've got some vitamin D3 which to be honest I don't really feel like I need at one point I was worried about a potential stress fracture and I just decided to buy them but I don't think I'm going to repurchase them afterwards. And then fish oil. I don't eat fish often, only once every couple of weeks maybe. Um, which is not really enough. So I've got my fish oil tablets. I, since moving to Australia, I don't have anywhere near as much fish as I used to have back home in New Zealand. I used to have fish all the time. Um, my dad has always been a keen fisherman. And so he would always catch fresh fish and give it to me to have. So I'm just so used to having really nice fresh caught fish that whenever I buy it from the supermarket it just doesn't quite live up to the standards that I grew up with. I think I just need to learn how to fish myself. <laughs> but until the day comes that I learn how to fish, I'll just have to make do with fish oil or get a nice fish at a restaurant or something. I believe I probably am deficient in iron as well. I have red meat maybe, again, once a fortnight potentially. Um, so I definitely do not get enough red meat. So I'd say there's a very high chance that I'm low in iron, but I don't believe in supplementing unless you actually know that you're deficient in something. So what I really need to do is go to my doctor and get some blood tests taken um, and then if my levels are low and of course in consultation with my GP then figure out what replacements I need. chef uh, delivery just arrived. I somewhat spontaneously brought this on a night shift last week. I've just been really struggling with eating healthy at work and preparing food to eat healthy so I decided to do some muscle chef for the next couple of weeks see how I feel about it. I've done it before, um, but not for quite a while. I'll show you what I got. Um, I am focusing on eating in a deficit at the moment. 
So I've got some of their lower calorie options. Let's see if I like them. Okay. I've got a Thai peanut chicken noodle stir fry. Chicken snitchel. I've got a Korean barbecue beef. I think I got two of those. Yep. I just think I'm gonna like it, so I figured I'd get two. Mongolian beef. I've had this one before last time and I remember really enjoying it. Beef stroganoff with spinach fettuccine. And a chicken fettuccine cabanara. All well, my pens have been getting stolen recently um, at work, my nursing job. Not intentionally, of course. Like, you put them down in an emergency or you're signing something and you just leave it on the desk. It'll always be picked up by somebody and become their pen. Um, there's just a permanent shortage of pens. So I went out and I brought a bunch more. And so I can recognize them if they get stolen and identify them as mine, put little stickers on them. This one's got a strawberry. This one's got some kind of little dinosaur thing holding a love heart. Another dinosaur holding a strawberry. And some kind of crazy ice cream. So that's fun. I just brought a pack of stickers from Officeworks. Just seemed kind of like a fun way of identifying my pens and not losing them, hopefully. Spent so much money on pens. And then while I was there, I also found some Christmas cards, which is crazy that Christmas cards and Christmas decorations are coming out now. I know it's that time of the year, but it always catches me off guard. But I just thought they were so cute. There's little pink ones with um, yeah, sausage dogs on them. And then there's red ones with sausage dogs. Dash hounds? Dash hounds. I call them sausage dogs. They look like sausages. And yeah, don't you send them out to family when it gets closer? One less thing to worry about. I barely ever wear my hair down these days. I just, it annoys me way too much. It's getting quite long, which I like. Like I'm trying to grow it longer for my wedding next year. But I'm also not really doing anything to it. Like I used to dye my hair pretty much from the age of, I don't know, 13. Up until a few years ago, I dyed my hair consistently. But since moving over to Australia, and I've been here for, you know, like three and a half years. I haven't done anything to my hair but cut it. And before that, I was only like kind of doing highlighty stuff um, just before I moved over. So this is pretty much all my natural hair at this point. I don't, I don't love my natural hair. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I love my hair a little bit blonder than this. But my partner and I are saving for a, a wedding and even more importantly, almost for us anyway, and our priorities, um, we're saving for a house deposit. So this is just one of the many things that I have decided to cut back on in order to save a bit more money. My hair did cost a fair amount to get done. And I have the full intention of getting it done again in the future. Um, it's just a temporary thing. And next year, once we've got our house deposit saved and we're looking, then I'll start dyeing it again. But it's been a really nice break. I don't know. It's just been a really nice few years of just having my natural hair. I've really enjoyed it. Kind of over it now, but I'm glad I did it. 
and I have zero regrets. Another thing I really, really miss getting done are my nails. They're not bad, like, they're, they're fine. But I miss having my nails done. It's something I really enjoy doing for myself and something I plan on doing again in the future. I just feel a little bit neglected from the beauty side of things because it's definitely something that I've cut out of my regime. Like, my skincare is incredibly basic at the moment. I use a face wash, moisturizer, SPF, and then I have a retinol that I'm using at night time at the moment. That is it. There are some serums that I'd really love to introduce into my skincare, but I'm holding off because it's just not a priority right now. Doesn't mean it won't ever be. In fact, I plan on making it more of a priority because I know it makes me feel good. But for now, beauty, beauty is not a priority. Soon. <laughs> There's lots of beauty things I'd love to do that I'm holding off on. I want to get more uh, laser hair removal. That would be great. I'd love to not have to shave my underarms because that's annoying. Of all the things, underarms bother me the most. So I'd love to get laser hair removal. I'd love to get my hair done again. I'd love to get my nails done again. I'd love to just ramp up my skincare a little bit. And this lighting, it actually doesn't look that bad. But I've been really breaking out if I come closer. Like here, here. I literally just had some weird pimple pop up there. And along my jaw. Just not ideal. I've also really noticed in the last few years since we moved over here. Big changes in my skin. Getting a lot more wrinkles here that are trying to become permanent <laughs> trying really really hard to become permanent and they're just always there and i don't love that i would love to get botox eventually which i know is not everyone's cup of tea but i'm a very risk versus benefit person and if it's something that would make me feel confident and happy i'm all for it i have no idea how i ended up going off on a um rampage just then somehow I went from talking about pens to my beauty regime and savings anyway I'm gonna leave this here tonight I'm just gonna do a little bit of editing of the clips that I've got so far from this week and try and make my job a little bit easier later on um and I'm going to watch some YouTube of other people. <laughs> the next two days, I am working at my nursing job. Tomorrow, I am doing a 12-hour shift. Now, as per usual, I will not be filming <laughs> any of my work um, within my nursing job for many, many different reasons, but patient confidentiality is obviously the priority. So, no filming, but essentially I'll be getting up like 5 a.m. and getting home around 8, 8.30. So that's fun. <laughs> and then the next day, of course, just to make my life more difficult, I picked up a shift. So on Friday, I only, it's actually only a six hour shift, which is very unusual, but I'm kind of here for it. As far as an extra shift goes, it's a pretty good one. We'll see whether or not they ask me to extend to an eight hour shift. I'm hoping not. I had a package arrive from Billy J Boutique while I was at work today, so I figured I'd quickly show you what I got. So firstly is this top that I'm wearing now. It's a little off the shoulder black kind of crop top. Just very cute, just kind of classic looking. I like this one, I know I'll get lots of use out of it. 
And then this next item, I'm not sure about. It's either going to look really nice or it's not going to suit me at all. Okay, and then this is the second item. It's a dress. Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Okay, this should show you a little bit better. What do you think? It's definitely a new territory for me. I'm not used to wearing this. The, the cut of the dress, I know that I love. It's more the pattern that I'm not used to. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me if you like it or if I should return it. Hello. I got off work this afternoon at about three o'clock and now I'm just cooking dinner for my partner and I. He should be home any minute now. And I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the afternoon. Happy Saturday. It's seven o'clock in the morning and today I'm going to the Brisbane Pride Festival with some friends from work. So I will take you along with me. I've never been before so this is a first for me. Sunday night, it's 9 p.m. and I'm just about to get back to my apartment. I'm going to sign off here and say thank you for watching another weekly vlog and I'll see you next week. <laughs>